Welcome back all my Minecrafting friends to the day three player update of the April 2014 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. Don't go in the water. And day three is the rainy day episode. So it rained on day three. So what do you think? Epic Dragon 7? Also yeah. aka Clay? Yeah, it's a rainy day. Um yeah, uh, just fin I, like I said, I got through everybody. I've seen quite a bit of different reactions to it. Uh, yeah, it's a exciting day. I just logged into Minecraft, and it says, call your mother. Why does Minecraft want me to call my mother? Anyway. Anyway. Well, who do you have on your list first, Michael? Uh, let's see. I have Redline 0442. Ah, yes. And in day three, I don't think he even went outside and saw this. Oh yeah, he did some tree farming. So, I guess he did go out some. Uh, yes, I have him down as uh, finding a, skele a skeleton dungeon. Uh, mm -hmm. Also fighting cave spiders. Uh, finding the abandoned mine shaft and doing some mine shaft exploring. And uh, making a tree farm. Yeah, yeah, and then that skeleton, really, that skeleton dungeon, not all that useful. He had one piece of iron, two music discs, a couple pieces of string, a bucket, and a horse armor. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, it's not diamonds, but it's still no, good stuff. No, but he did not destroy the spawner. I think he was wanting to make a mob grinder with it. Well, it's it's great for bones, and yes. bon bones would be really good in this challenge because yes. food seems to be a problem for everybody. Yeah, that seems to be the I, on the issue. I have not seen anyone that has really got a good, stable food source going yet. Yeah, um, yeah. Not really. Those are well, the most stable ones are the ones that are fishing. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, first on my list is Rick, also known as Laurel Craft. And he was in a team with the teammate that his teammate died. I yeah, don't remember. It was Goron Craft. Yes, thank yeah, you. Rick and Goron Craft were, were recording together and, and Goron Craft died and uh, Rick is posting his episodes on Laurel Craft yeah. uh, uh, channel. And I didn't know that until uh until Goron Craft died, and I was like, what's going to happen to Rick? And then yeah, they told me, so. Yeah, that's when I seen it. But anyway, he was shearing some sheep and building some sort of tone, stone structure tower, like, it's rectangular and it's tall and it's stone. That's all I could get out of that. So. Yeah, he, he was, uh, he's breeding chickens. Mm-hmm. So he'll have he'll have food because he's breeding chickens, yeah, which is which is pretty good for food, and yep. yeah he's making a statue. I think he's making a statue of of uh, Goron. Is that what that's supposed to be? I think he said that's what it was. Okay, I'd love to. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out. Uh, I can hear your keyboard uh, clicking. Yep, I'm I'm clicking my keyboard. Uh, uh, I have one of those mechanical clicky keyboards. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got one too, but I don't use it. I just use my laptop's keyboard. Uh, anyway, who's next on your list? I have the uh, the big team, the uh, Gophercraft team of eight players. Oh, the Steel Douglas, Max Ryder, Scotty Garbitas, Lost in the Fort, Sayu Lily, Basket MC, uh, also known as Nathan Pelton, Psycho SFK, and Optimus 1971. Yeah. And eight players did a lot of things in day three. They did eight times as much as I did. So, uh, Max uh, got some cows into a fence. 
uh, Steel Douglas was, you know, doing his normal uh, exploring, exploring stuff. Uh, Sayu Lily did some fishing. Uh, I can't remember what the rest of them did, but they all did lots of stuff. Yeah. So it's it's it makes me wish I had more time in in my world, you know, because I could I get so little accomplished in twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Um, also, got down. Uh, they made a clock. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Basket, Basket made the clock and gave it to Max because yeah. Max always wants a clock. He likes uh, to be able to keep track of what time it is. Yeah, um, and uh, Basket also got the record disc from the Creeper. Spent quite a bit of time at that. Oh yeah, that's right. And then they made the uh, they made the record player out, yeah. of, out of the diamonds that that uh, Psycho found. Yeah. And then also, but they used up their diamonds to make two record players, and now they have no diamonds to make an enchanting table or a pickaxe. Yeah. So um, they're going to have to find more diamonds if they want to enchant. Also, they're looking for uh, they're looking for the uh, sugar cane, which there is sugar cane on this island around the edges. If you just go all around the edge, you will find sugar cane. Yes. Yes. And also they. When uh, Basket was making the record player, he also made a note block. And oh, is that, oh, is there a difference between a record player and a note block? Yeah. Uh, a record player uses the diamond in the middle, and a note block uses redstone. Oh, so so maybe so, they didn't make two record players. Maybe they just made one record player. Yeah, they also well, they made the note block, and one of the other guys was meshing with it. They look kind of the same, though, don't they? They do. It's just the top that's different. Okay. Yeah. Um, one of the other guys was messing with the uh, the music disc and was spamming the change the tone button. And to me, yeah, that could if, have been could have been Max. <laughs> <laughs> to me, and my headphones, it almost sounded like a tornado siren, huh. which had, for a split second had me kind of worried because I live in the middle of Tornado Alley. And they are expecting some severe storms today, so I kind of got a little nervous from that. Uh, well, I, so. they don't have they don't have tornado uh, alarms where I live. They do here. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, uh, next on my list is Cyan ninety three. Uh, so what's Cyan ninety three doing today? He's looking for the diamonds. Now he said he gave the cords. In the, his description, but I don't remember seeing him actually mining the diamonds or the coordinates. So, oh, yeah, I spent a little time looking for diamonds down on diamond level, but on my day three, but I didn't find any. No. Anyway, um, yeah, and that's all I have for Cyan. Okay, next on my list, I have Piker Eyes. Pikerized is one of the Gophercraft guys, except that he's not in the uh, in the big group this time. He missed he missed the boat. Okay, uh, so he's he's doing a single player thing, and he's he's doing good. Uh, he's eating apples. He found the abandoned mine shaft. Uh, he's making bread, and he's uh, finding a lot of creepers. Yeah, creepers well, creepers are following him around. Yeah. Um. Yeah, one of the creepers blew up in the water near his farm, too. Yeah, well, that was lucky that he was in the water and didn't blow up the farm. Yeah, that could have been really... That was a close one. Speaking of farms, uh, I saw on your episode where you're trying to get your wheat to grow. Mm-hmm. You know, you've got water, you've got light, but what you don't have is you don't have a lot of wheat planted, you know? The, yeah. the, it's it's like rolling dice and trying to get a six. The more dice you roll, the better your odds are. So, you need a farm needs to be bigger if you you know if you want to have uh, better odds of getting wheat. Yeah. Now that was just the seeds I gathered from the first day outside, and I'm kind of scared to go outside. Uh, but th there's more on that, and re well, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but okay. Um. So yeah. who's who's next on your list? Rosa Asoro. Ah, and what is the furry doing today? He tore down his house. 
tore down his house. Is he moving? He he wants to do this without a house. He wants to. Oh, to, oh, that's he wants, right. He said that in his first episode that he was gonna tear it down. So he tore it down. He's just gonna then, run around. Yep. Now he's mining. So that's all I've got. That's what I've got for him. Okay. Uh, and I have Somo Tome and uh, Soma. Uh, found a ravine in day three and she's she's trying to explore the ravine from the top so it's it's taken a long time you know she's lighting things as she goes but she doesn't have to worry about things dropping down on her because she is uh, doing it from the top but I think it's at the rate she's going it's gonna take three more episodes to to explore this one little ravine yeah um. But she's playing it safe. She doesn't want to die. She doesn't want her series to be over. Yeah. Which is a good thing. It is. It is. And also she did try... She made a little chicken farm. Or not chicken farm, but she bred and killed them. And when she was trying to kill that chicken, it was trying to run away from her. Oh, yeah. She's trying to kill it with her bare hands. It takes, what, three or four hits? You know? Yeah. And, and chicken's running everywhere. She might not even hit the same chicken twice. So, you know. Yeah, she's having troubles getting that chicken. But she got some food out of it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, next on my list is Powfish Yo-Yo. Who, in this episode, made a farm. And in the mine shaft, he destroyed the cave spider spawner. So. He found it, and then just destroyed it. Didn't want to deal with it. Well... Yeah, what can you do with cave spiders? You know, you, you got plenty of string in the mine shaft already, so. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, and spider eyes are worthless. It'll, it, well, it depends on if you want to make potions or what potions, I guess. Yeah, what potion can you make with a spider eye? Well, um. Oh, it's a, a fermented spider eye. It's just for all kinds of uh, pot potions, right? Yeah, well, it's fermented spider eye. It uh, corrupts the potion, is what it says on the uh, wiki. It'll like you'll have a healing potion. Yeah. A spider eye will turn it into a harming potion, and yeah, re happens. reverses the uh, reverses the polarity. Effect. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So. Uh, next on on my list, oh. who was that you you had? That was Powfish Yo-Yo. Powfish Yo-Yo. Okay. Next on my list, I have Dad vs. Minecraft. Ah, uh, yes. And Dad vs. Minecraft had a pretty bad day on day three. Uh. Uh, this is the, uh, the one with the dad and the two sons. And uh, both the sons died on day three. They're, they're running around outside at night with very few hearts. You know, not... I mean, it's something kids would do, but... Not not really uh, effective Minecraft strategy. No. So, yeah, so. then all, also the, they were struggling to figure out how to make a fishing rod. Yeah, that's true. They, they one of them. I mean, neither one of them knew how. They're both experimenting, and and I think one of them finally did make a fishing rod. But, but yeah, I was. It was like three minutes of just them <laughs> one trying to rearrange and I've, in every wrong way you can before they got it so yeah I'm, I'm staring at the screen saying come on just just do it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right, next on the list is program ninja ah so what's a ninja doing well he finally got some water to his farm oh good so that'll help it out yep. and then a, a bit of caving and mining so No. And that's really all he was doing. A lot of people are mining. So. Yeah, I. I, I think I, I spent too much. I spent too much time in my first three days underground. I need to spend more time outside. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that's the sort of way I was too. You know, I miss the sunshine. Especially after the last two challenges. 
Uh, next on my list I have Epic Dragon 7. And Epic Dragon 7 is having wheat farm problems. He's uh, spent the whole episode trying to get his wheat to grow and it would not grow. But he finally got some bones at the end of uh, the end toward the end of the episode and he he I think at one point he he broke one of his wheats before it was uh, before it was mature and then uh, he bone milled some and got what did you get two wheats but you didn't get enough for for bread no I didn't get enough for bread yeah I miss I didn't I, that one I broke was one step away from being fully grown yeah, that I was... thought it was fully grown. And also earlier in the episode, I was down and I came across a little cave with a creeper and a couple of zombies. And I thought I killed the last zombie when I broke the block, keeping them away from me. Turns out I didn't kill it. So, so the zombie's still there, huh? Well, he, he, I killed him then, but I... He got a few hits on me. Ah, okay. So, speaking of combat, next on my list is Combat Dude. Combat Dude, always <laughs> always good for some good combat in his episodes. Mm-hmm. Spent the entire time in the Nether. Well, did he find anything, or is he just? Yeah, yeah. He he found a lot. He got some glowstone. He got plenty of mushrooms of both colors. Okay. And he found another fortress. Oh, he found a fortress. Yeah, and he's killing the wither skeletons, and he found diamonds in the fortress. Well, good for him. So, yeah. Well, that's cool. Maybe he'll maybe he'll come back. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and next on my list, I have Senior Eustace and Mike. The team of Senior Eustace and Mike, uh, they are critically low on food. They spent most of the episode like almost starving uh, zombies were able to break down their door and and rush into their house you know and there was like three or four zombies that came in in the first rush and then more zombies kept coming in before they got the door closed mm -hmm. so they had a rough time on day three uh, but I didn't I didn't I didn't think the zombies still broke down doors I thought that they changed that in in 1.7.5 because I haven't seen any zombies breaking down doors for a while. I was kind of surprised. Maybe yeah, they're did, maybe I they're did, running an older version or I don't know. Like I did my entire series in 1.7.4. I don't remember them saying in the change logs about the zombies not breaking down doors. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't see it in the change log either, but. Ever since I got 1.7.5, I have not seen a zombie beat on a door except in a village. Yeah. So, huh. I'm just guessing that they that something changed there. But, anyway. Yeah, yeah uh, and I also have down there, they are low on iron, too. Yeah, they, they said they only have three iron. Yeah. So. Apparently they haven't. They, I mean, they've, they've done a lot of mining. They've got a lot of shafts underneath. I don't know. I guess they've just been unlucky. Unless Mike's yeah. hiding it all. <laughs> yeah, you never yeah. know. Yeah, and, and Mike went off and, and killed killed something. Killed some chickens. Uh, yeah, uh, cows. Brad, he got cows. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, but he doesn't record, so, you know, we yeah. can't really see how, how he's doing when he's off on the other side of the island. Yeah. Um, yeah. So who's yeah. next? Next is the team of Midnight Designer and Pixel Gymnast. Ah, cool. And What's... another one with a food shortage. Yeah. And Midnight Designer got hit by a witch uh, poison bottle. So that. And then Pixel Gymnast tried fishing in lava. Did it work? No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, then they were uh, exploring the mine shaft, and then they made a golden apple. And I, Midnight Designer ate the golden apple. Hmm. So. Yeah. I don't think you can boat in lava either. Uh, not, the, any, not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. So, 
uh, my list is over, so uh, we can continue down your list. Okay. Next on my list is Holderbot. Holderbot. So what? Say that again. And what's he up to? He's fishing and he's working on his tree house. Oh yeah, the tree house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next is Tangle Zest. Tangle Zest. I missed her episodes. Yeah. And she's chopping down trees, mining, and putting stairs in her mine. So. Okay, you sure that was day three? Yeah. Okay. I take your word for it. I. For some I'm reason, pretty sure. Well, I, I can double check here after we're done. No, no, yeah. Later. We don't have time to yeah. to waste. I want to get this episode under under 30 minutes. Okay. Um, next is the team of Chris Gaming, Joe the Pirate, and Tater Swag. Ah, so what's Joe doing now? They're chopping down trees, breeding and killing cows, and Joe is having trouble with mobs trying to kill him. Really? Yeah, and those, those pesky mobs. <laughs> yes, and they were, were they had a villager villager zombie, and they were wanting to trap it, but uh, one of them ended up killing it. Oh, well, do they have the stuff to cure it anyway, or they just want to trap it just for the heck of it? Ah, uh, I don't know exactly. It, I mean, it just takes a golden apple, I think, and a potion. Does it? Yes. Ah, I don't know. Oh. Well, might have been some preparation work for if they could later yeah. on. Well, I mean, they could they could trap it now and go get the go get the potion later. Yeah. Next is Matthew back, who had a close call with the burning zombie, and he's starting to build his house. Ah, oh, cool. So. Burning zombies are really really unfortunate. Yeah. Luckily, yeah. he was he was able to he was running for the water and the fire ran out. Just before he got the water, got to the water. If it's so. raining, does that put you out if you're on fire? No. No. Okay. Uh, next. Next is Fallen Prize, who made a farm and some fishing and explored the mine shaft. Who found the spider spawner and got poisoned by one. Oh. So he's probably doing pretty good on food then, if he's doing fishing and farming. Yeah. Yeah. Next is Mining Ish Melons and Master Urbanda, who made a cow pen and bred the cows. And they found diamonds. I, Master Urbanda said he found diamonds. Oh, cool. So, and they found the mine shaft. So maybe they'll be making an enchanting table soon. Yeah, yeah. We will see. Next is Doom Pickles. Doom Pickles. Who is mining and exploring the mine shaft? Ah, yep. I, I stumbled into the mine shaft in my day three, mm -hmm. but I didn't explore very much of it. I'm, no. I'm afraid of getting killed down there. Yeah, I don't blame you. Next is for you to envy plays, who started his house and then spent the night fighting mobs, and showed why I hate creepers 100%. A creeper snuck up behind him and blew him up. Oh, he's, he's out? He is out. Oh. Yeah, creepers are like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. I guess that's, guess that's why they call them creepers. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. rather than suicide bombers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, next is Technoscribe, who was having difficulty trapping the, her chickens and is mining. Cool. So, next is my MC Cookie, who has audio now, after the last two didn't, and explored their mine shaft, now has chickens, killed some skeletons for the bone, and bone mailed some wheat. Okay, so he's doing, um, doing good. Yeah. Next is the team of Westcraft Crew and Catman Meow123. Who expanded the farm and did some more building of the house. Okay. Uh, next is Turtle TV, who is exploring the mine shaft, mining, and uh, dug up to uh, 
who went back to the surface, uh, like digging straight up, and ended up in the ocean, so he swam back to the island. Ah, well, oh, slight, uh, slight bending of the rules there, but he's back on the island. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next is the walkthroughs. And the walkthroughs bred some cows and have steaks is mining and exploring the mine shaft. Next is Kondrick, who has a half a chest full of stone pickaxes. Wow, he's getting ready to do some heavy mining, huh? Yeah, apparently. And he's chopping down trees, and he killed a chicken jockey. And he was asking if there's a chicken jockey, if that, if you kill that, it, with the chicken, it that count as, uh, because you, apparently you can't kill them without killing the chicken first. If that counted as killing a passive. Well, actually, the, the zombie baby will take all the damage until the zombie baby's dead, and then the chicken will start taking damage. But depending on how much damage he dealt to it, he could have killed them simultaneously. Yeah. Which, which... You know, there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. But I don't think you're. I don't think it would be fair to eat the chicken. You know, when you've killed it from a from a chicken zombie. You know, I should have just kept the chicken. Yeah. Alive and then bred it. You know, yeah. with another chicken. All right. Next is uh, Ralph. Ralph. Milk. He's mining. I missed a lot of my favorites this time. Yeah. I don't. I think my my YouTube stuff is not working right. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Anyway, he is mining, exploring the mine shaft, and he during the night, spent the night fighting thing. A lot of combat. So. Next is uh, Penguin Gaming and First Down Productions. We were in the, we started out in the mine shaft, then and doing some mining, and then later on some fishing. Then the final one on my list is Mr. Lazy Miners, who has built his house and is mining. And that concludes the day three list. Cool. So, well, and. Uh... There's not really any uh, any news for for the rest of the challenges. Uh, let me think. What was what was next month's next month is May, right? Yes. Yeah, the May challenge. We're going to be uh, saving a village, but doing it the hard way. The hard way. The hard way. Yes. Do I even want to know what the hard way is? Uh, well, if you tune in to our next player update, I'll tell you. <laughs> right, so. I will be here. <laughs> um, well. Okay, so this is uh, Mike Deering signing out with uh, Epic Dragon 7, and we will see you guys on the next player update. Yep. Uh, good luck to all of you who are still in the tournaments.